Brand new GR86, got about 4,000 miles, also got about four track days on it. We're doing gear oils today, including the transmission and differential. Remember I said 4,000 miles, so you may be asking yourselves, why so early? When I used to compete in Time Attack in my FRS, I know some of the competitors. There was this controversy about how often you should be changing your gear oils. You know, some of the competitors would even leave the gear oils in the car for 60,000 miles or more all through the time attack season. And I think that's absolutely ludicrous. All right, yeah, got the belly pan off. Again, trans and diff oils. Um, we got the trans in this pan right here. And again, 4,000 miles, right? But the key, it's got four track days on it. You see that pearlescence in there. <laughs> Rear differential, it's an LSD, but it's also a helical LSD, which means it requires no friction modifier. Again, 4,000 miles, right? Check out that drain plug. See all the metal on it? Same thing. You see how nasty that gear oil is too. Again, 4,000 miles, you guys. Now I'm just gonna show you guys. All of that. So yeah, short video, just wanted to show you guys how dirty the gear oil gets. And the key is not mileage, but how the car's used, right? I've heard track day miles being compared to the equivalent of one track day being equal to 10 or 15,000 miles. Think about that for a second. So gear oils are due at 22,500 miles under normal conditions. Similar to engine oil, you can't change it too early. You know, another thing on my mind is like, would you rather pay for $100 worth of gear oil or you know, pay for another trance. Um, I'm sure that's pretty obvious. 